complement representation. Look at this. Once complement. So what we do is we complement all bits like this. So I can differentiate plus 15 from minus 15 like this. Plus 15 will be all ones. And then I'm going to complement all the bits that I'm going to consider as minus 15. That's called ones complement. This is how we define positive number and negative number. But still, you may find similar issues when it comes to defining zero, even in ones complement. So that's why we go for twos complement. When it comes to twos complement, what actually we do is we add one to ones complement. That's how we are going to define the negative value. We are going to add one to ones complement. Okay, look at this example. Four ones for 15. But when it comes to minus one, this is the two's complement value. Minus 15 can be defined as two's complement value like this. Okay. Let's look at how to calculate one's complement and two's complement. This is the binary. When it comes to one's complement, you have to complement each bit. 0 to 1, 1 to 0, 0 to 1, 1 to 0, like this. You have to complement each bit. And if you add 1 with this 1's complement, what you get is 2's complement, like this. So this is how you have to calculate 2's complement. Complement all the bits, then add 1. Is there any shortcut? I don't want to follow this method. Okay, there is a way. Here, this is the binary number. And how do you do this? Here, you start from LSB. Okay, you write the values as it is. Once you hit one, then you have to complement the remaining bits. So you have to start from LSB. Okay, write the values as it is. Write the values one by one. Once you hit one, then for the remaining bits towards MSB, you have to complement all the bits. This is how straight away you can write the two's complement. It's a shortcut. I want to show you how you can perform addition and subtraction using two's complement. So here, I'm adding the value seven plus four. It is straightforward. You can go ahead and add the binaries. You get the value 11. But when it comes to subtraction, what do you need to do? you have to write the two's complement for the negative value. So here for seven, zero, one, one, for minus four, one, one, zero, zero. And then you need to add the value. You get one, zero, zero, one, one. When you get carry, what it means is the result is positive number. So you ignore the carry. Carry one indicates positive number and carry zero indicates negative number. Let's look at this example. I want to do 4 minus 7. For 4, the equivalent binary is 0, 1, 0, 0. For minus 7, the equivalent binary, 2's complement value, 1, 0, 0, 1. And you need to add these values. You get the result. Now there is no carry. 1, 1, 0, 1. No carry means this is negative number. When you get negative number, you have to convert the value back into binary what you got basically two's complement so the two's complement of one one zero one is zero zero one one so this is going to be minus three four minus seven is minus three this is how you calculate the value so how we did this look at the whole thing we use the same circuit for addition and subtraction we haven't designed separate circuit like subtractor to calculate 7 minus 4. We did something like this. We used adder, calculated the value 7 plus 4, 11. Look at here. And we used the same adder and calculated the value 7 minus 4. In case of minus 4, we used 2's complement. So it's going to be 7 plus 2's complement of 4 and you get the value 3. This is how you can use the same circuit to perform addition and subtraction. And this is one best example. You can understand how we design digital circuits smartly and save the area of the chip. 
Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.